For Rita is a raw material, mainly use it at the refiner in order to upgrade the rarity of your items. If you want to obtain easy your first floor Rita, visit the train station to the top right from your workshop. Immediately after entering the building, uh, turn to the right and you will notice a chest you have to loot. Inside it you will find one Florite. Speaking about the mine farming method, before you will be able to obtain it, you have to progress in the mine storyline until you will need to repair the crane lift uh, required to access the abandoned ruins. Inside this dungeon you have to mine the copper ore nodes. If you want to avoid spending stamina to do so, visit the Eufala salvage shop to the bottom right side from your workshop, where every day you will be able to buy up to 50 copper ore. For the next step you have to research the ore refinery, build it and place it down. Thanks to it you will be able to convert the copper ore you obtained previously into some quartz, florite and dregs. Then the quartz you obtained this way you also will be able to put back down inside the ore refinery in order to obtain other ingredients including the florite. Inside the abandoned ruins mentioned previously you will be able also to find some secret chests. Inside those chests you will find occasionally some florite. To make it easier to find those chests you have to upgrade your treasure detector. To be precise you need to upgrade your focus lens till the level 3. This will allow you by scanning the area not only to see the location of the relics but also of the treasure chests as well. While exploring the secret caves and the quest dungeon, don't forget to destroy the crates you will find there. This because inside them often you will find rare ingredients including the florite. For the next method you have to progress in the mine storyline until you will unlock the hazardous ruins located in the bottom left corner of the city. After completing them the first time, the next will require from you to pay 120 stamina. Completing this dungeon from the reward chest you will obtain 10 ruins tokens. That next you can convert into Florite using the vending machine at the entrance of this dungeon. During the same quest you will unlock the hazardous ruins, you also will unlock the civil corpse located slightly below them. In the left corner of this building you will find a notice board. Using it you will be able to post a commission for a run inside the hazardous ruins. It will take several days to complete, but between the rewards you will obtain some ruin tokens that you next can use by interacting with the cash desk in this building. This will allow you to convert these tokens into florite as well. For the next method you have to proceed further in the mine storyline until repairing the hydrogel. From this moment on, on the right side from Eulfala salvage shop you will find a robot you will be able to mine down. Here I will spawn one robot each day and between other rare resources sometimes it will drop also the florite.